Hello friends. In this video, we will talk about the transform tools uh, that are tested in a course certification exam. And uh, under this exam, uh, uh, the tools that are tested uh, are the transpose tool, cross tab tool, summarize tool, and count records tool. So, uh, what are these tools? So, transpose tool uh, change uh, the data layout and move the horizontal data into vertical axis meaning uh, so oftentimes we don't uh, receive the data uh, in a proper layout uh, that is suitable for our analysis so we might require to change the layout uh, so that we are able to analyze and uh, summarize the data so in this data uh, the horizontal data uh, is converted into particle uh, vertical axis meaning uh, for example the column headings uh, so when we use this tool the column headings will be changed and uh, will appear as rows in one particular field and uh, similarly under cross tab tool uh, the uh, data the vertical data is converted into horizontal axis so values in a particular field are converted as column headings and then in summarize tool uh, using the summarize tool we can categorize uh, values in a particular field and for those categories uh, we can uh, calculate uh, some uh, total uh, value and we can get uh, minimum value maximum value and uh, count the number of rows and column etc and uh, uh, the last one is the count records uh, using the count records tool we can count the number of records uh, passing through a particular tool so let's get started and see how all these tools work in Alteryx tab, Alteryx workflow. So here I have this uh, blank workflow right now. So we will insert file onto this workflow. We'll go to files and let's select the military expenditure from sheet 1 and in this of data we see uh, the number of countries and the countries are categorized are and this is just uh, randomly categorized are uh, developed developing and others and uh, their uh, expenditure uh, in percentage uh, year on year now for example we were required to get the sum of all these expenditure for a particular country or uh, for a economic category for a country that is a developed country or developing country or others so how do we do that so in this case we need to transpose this data so we will go here and we will first transpose use the transpose tool and we'll say we do, don't need to convert these fields to horizontal axis and then we have all these values that we will uh, want in a vertical axis so let's first run this workflow and this is the result so all the countries and the category and the, all the years are appearing here in one field and the values are aggregated here and uh, from here we can use the summary tab and we can categorize the country group by and then we can see the value either sum or count or count null non-null so it will based on um, the values that are there in the field we can use or minimum maximum first last so in this case let's take sum of all and let's run once again and we see sum of all because we selected only country uh, uh, the grouped by value as only country it will show the value for country alone and we can add another category
group by we will move it up and we will show you uh, it will show the value in n in the third column so let's run the workflow again so we see the country and the economic category and the value here and if you don't want to see the country then we can remove it from here so let's see so now we will use the cross tab uh, tool and we will convert it back to the original layout so here first it is transpose from column to row again we will transfer the same values from uh, the col uh, uh, rows to column headings so we will select again we don't want country and economy to change and we want uh, for column headings we want the names because those values here all the years are appearing in the name field so that's why we want them back as column headings so we selected name here and values for new columns so the values are in the value field so we will select value here and what aggregation we want we want sum or average account so we will select only sum here and now let's run the workflow so here the value is entering we will just do a comparison 2000 so Australia developed 1.829 this is the value this should also show the same value so you see Australia developed so it is again converting it back to the original layout so here we got the summary so now if you see the metadata here these are all the in these years these are double so these are all numeric values so let us convert this to strings and see what happens so we'll go to preparation and we'll get the select and here we'll convert these values to strings So now I have converted all the data type to a uh, string here and now we will see how the cross tab tool will work in this. We come here, we will select this as economy, this also will select as economy and this will select the value it will take from 2000 column and we will see the last value it should take and we will run the workflow now. okay this is the result so under developed the last value is 2.933426 so let's compare it so this is the entry we have and under 2000 field the last developed country the value is 2.933426 let's see one more under developing the last value is 1.387289 so the last value this is developing and the last value is 1.387289 so we saw and now so now we will see how the count records tool works we'll add the count records to every tool So here when we are converting the uh, columns to rows, it should usually the number of columns in uh, multiplied by the number of records. So let's see what is the count here. So we have 35 rows here and we have from 2000 to 2017 means 18 column so this value should show 
18 into 35. So let's run the workflow now. 630. So it says 630 records. And here again 35 because this is again summarizing. So again 35 records. Here as well 35 record because this is again converting it to the original layout where we have again 35 records and here only three because we have only three rows for these three categories so that's it guys this is how all these transpose cross tab summarize and count records tool works in Alteryx thanks for watching